Hey everyone, I'm here to do a review for, zoom in here, Kellum Fang from uh, Kellum's Wolf Pack series. And as I just said, this is the Fang. Nice knife. Simple, uh, what is it, Leku style, I guess. Straightforward. Like it a lot. Um, I have yet to baton with this knife. I haven't really used this knife much at all. A little bit of carving. I'm going to put through a bit of its pace here with a piece of maple. And uh, we'll see what happens. Went through like that. Went through that like butter. Not too eager to try it on this knot. And we have success all the same. Just get that out of the way. There's our hardwood piece. So it sliced through that. I wasn't uh, batoning or I wasn't hitting it as hard as I could have. It's not a full tang, well, it's a it's a rat tail. Wooden handle, so I wanted to take it easy. It's mainly a carving knife for me, so. But for the purposes of this test, I think. Uh, you guys can agree that that works fine. Does a good job. All right. Let's have a little peek here. Feather stick. Which of course it's going to do well. It's a really nice simple Scandi grind. And get the bark off here. It just, I mean, it really slices well. Uh, 1095 memory serves anyway. This is one of the first knives I got actually. I really only ever used it for carving. I've never done a test of it. Never planned on using it for anything other than carving. But as my friend would say, it's always good to know what a knife is capable of. At least that's how I'm wording what he said. <laughs> and I mean this thing just does an awesome job. As you can see, no problem. Bites in pretty well. That was just an easy push. Nothing crazy for an angle and that's in the hardwood mind you. It's smashing my knuckles on the my stump here. Really does a great, great job. If I can get this out of the way for a second here, my neck knife. That was fairly easy. Again, was doing it slow for control, sake of control, but uh, does a fantastic job that way. Um, we've got the piece of wood out, so we'll go ahead and try giving her a notch here. Bites in really nice that way. Very, very easily. It's a fantastic knife, it really is. Uh, very comfortable handle, very comfortable handle. Uh, again, I have uh, that's for my uh, carving tasks. So you know, 
all kinds of different hand positions over a length of time and it's just really comfortable. Uh, I imagine that would hold true for hard work as well. And this thing really wants to dig in. So it's just a matter of me controlling it. And I got a bit of a weird angle here on this piece. Let me try flipping that over. Yeah. She just wants to bite in. But it just it glides through the wood so smoothly. It's unreal. And then trim off the edge here. Try and get this at the same angle as I did on the hardwood. Well, that was about the same pressure and even a little bit deeper. Very easy. Just, like I said, just glides right through it. So, you know, it's a great little knife. I didn't push it too much by batoning too much because I don't want to do that. I like this knife. Uh, it's got some sentimental value for a couple reasons. And it maintains its edge very well. Um, I haven't done really a lot of carving with hardwood with this knife. Um, I do some hardwood carving. Uh, probably kind of like a 70-30 split. Uh, leaning towards softwoods as far as my carving. Um, but this thing, I'm just kind of playing around here a little bit. Sorry, I'll try to focus. <laughs> It's just, it's a joy to work with. It really is. It really, really is. You know, no time at all. I could put an edge on that. Obviously, a little bit more time with a piece of hardwood. Results end up being the same though. It, I mean, it just does a great job. It really does. I could almost go 10 peg from here. Um, it's a fabulous knife. I believe, and you'll see this in the description, but uh, I believe it's a stained birch. It's just a really nice knife. It's got that rough mill scale that was left on the edge. Really sharp, jagged edge. Be great for fire steels. I've never used it for fire steels. Brass cap, brass rat tail tang cap there. I mean, you can see the shape of the handle. It's really, really nice. Like I said, fits my hand very, very nicely. Um, chest lever. I know this isn't the best camera angle, forgive me, but yeah, equally as comfortable. Really sits well in the hand for that as well. I won't get into too much of that. But. These are just quick reviews after all. Uh, at any point, anyone may feel, of course, free to ask me to do some more detailed work with it, depending on what they want to see. As always, I'd be happy to oblige. And that's just a quick look at the Kellum Fang. Comes with a very basic style sheath. Nice little embroidery there, caribou I believe, wolf pack, paw prints, so on the back. I'm not familiar with, but I'm taking a stab at that that's a traditional style for the sheath. With just a uh, twisted belt loop. Uh, I could see that wearing out over a, a period of time. And uh, wasn't as careful as I needed to be when I first took the knife out of the sheath, you know, years ago. But, uh, and this little thing here seems to be a tensioner. I find when you put the knife in and you slip that down, it, uh, it seems to add some, uh, it seems to do a bit of a squeeze to the leather and it ends up acting, acting, can't speak, ends up acting as a tension strap. So great knife. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give you a better of a close up look here.
That'll zoom in. That'd be even nicer. Eh? There we go. It's a really nice stained birch. I like it. Great blade. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and be well.